just from old school shaving. Hope you're all well. Um, to those celebrating, happy Easter and happy and a uh, blessed Good Friday to everybody observing. Um, today I'll be trying out a few new products from Pearl Shaving. The people at Pearl Shaving were kind enough to uh, send me some products to test and review. I'm really grateful for that. Um, let's start with the, um, the products. First is the soap, the vegan based soap. Um, I'll be using that. It's called Sunrise Bliss. 125 grams. This is what it looks like. It's a very hard puck. I'll be using a 28 millimeter zebra synthetic brush. Very nice handle. You can see that. Seems to be hand turned. Very soft knot, synthetic knot, 28 millimeter. Mm. Then we'll be trying out this. This is the new um, semi slant safety razor. It comes in this box. Comes with uh, tips for using slant razor, some paperwork. It's got a keying cloth. It has a few rubber gaskets that go between the head and the, and the handle. This is what it looks like. Can you see how thick it is on this side and how it's slim on this side? Look again. This is a uh, 316L stainless steel handle and this is a zinc alloy head. Very well made. If you can see, I cannot fault it. Very well made. It's also quite heavy. I think the handle itself is about 60 grams and the head is about 40 grams. In total, it's about maybe 104 grams in total. Okay. Let me just um, wet my face and wet my brush and we'll get lathering. I've just had a head shave using the same um, soap in the shower. It's hard for me to describe the scent. It has a very pleasant scent. Mm. It's quite clean and fresh. It has like a almost like a lemon scent. It's very clean. I can't put my finger on it. I can't see any scent description, but it says sunrise bliss. There we go. It's very very hard. Let's get loading. This soap loves water. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my pre-shave like this. I put a few drops on the back. Mark it on my fingers. And I'll create a pre-lather. Only one thing I don't like about this soap, the the lid doesn't screw on or anything. It just goes on and it keeps falling off. But that's that's about it. Okay, let's just rinse this puck. Looks like I'm gonna set this down to drain and dry. Look at lathering. Those of you who follow my channel, you will know that. 
have a preference for natural hair brushes. So I'm just testing out this brush. Initially, it seemed quite sparsely loaded for a 28 millimeter nut, but I like the fact that it that it splays quite easily, and it has great lather pass through. You can see the soap lathers very easily. Just added some water in there. Add a bit more water. Develops quite a nice develops quite a nice sheen. That's good I think we're good to go. Let's get shaving. So I've used this razor once. It has a chic double edge razor blade in it with um, I think one or two shaves on it. It has this little notch here. You have to make sure that the notch lines up on one side. Okay. You can see the slant. So it's called a semi slant. Let's get some heat into the blade and then we get shaving. Here it goes. I generally prefer a very uh, a more aggressive razor because I have a very coarse beard. But I think this razor would be very suited for someone who, prefer, who prefers a very mild daily shaver. I would rate this as maybe mild to medium aggressive. It's perfect for daily use. It's very well built. 
taken care of, it can last a lifetime. It does feel like good quality, very heavy, very well made. I know the handle is stainless steel. Here is a zinc alloy with some coating. As much as I say it's a mild to medium aggressive razor, I don't think this is suited for a, an absolute newbie. I think uh, you need to be, have a bit more experience. say this is a zinc alloy head right but the way it retains heat it sure feels like a brass head to me I don't know if the guys at pearl shaving can please just confirm to me what it's made of because it conducts heat very similar to a brass uh, razor conducts heat the reason why I say that is I have a um, upcoming preview. I have this, which I'll review soon. It's the Pearl Flexi Open Comb and this is a brass head and it retains heat the very same way as as that baby. Okay, let's run through the second pass. Did you see what I mean when I said this thing has very good pass through and uh, lather release? So although I prefer denser nuts, this thing works quite well. It has the right amount of backbone. It has a bit too much splay but nothing to complain about. And I like the stubbiness of the handle, it fits in my palm quite well. Add a bit more water. More water. Some people like um, thicker consistency lather. I prepare lather the same way as I would for a straight razor shape. Sloppy and wet and shiny. See that? Do a second pass. Look up. It's 
It's quite a silent razor. Um, I think it has to do with the thickness of the head. This razor is perfectly suited for shavers who have sensitive skin and who shave daily. I think this would be perfect for you. Okay. Pardon the noise outside, somebody's uh, trimming trees with a chainsaw. Let's just feel for pickups. This soap has a fair amount of residual thickness. I think I cut myself. It's not bleeding. As long as there's no crimson, we're fine. Okay. That's it, guys. It's nice and beautiful shape. For post shave, I'll be using my Master Soap Creations um, face serum. This helps with the uh, skin repair. I cannot do without it. It has hyaluronic acid and uh, niacinamide and aloe vera in it. And then to finish, I'll be using here is it? Ah, here we go. Pearl Man um, Post Shave Lotion. Shake it up. Put a small amount in my hand. That's enough. This is a very clean fresh scent it's quite hydrating i've used it earlier this week it works well for my skin because i have very oily skin so generally i don't like anything too fatty and this works well for me 
Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I uh, hope you find this review useful. Take care. Ciao and have a blessed Easter weekend. Namaste.